Hey, what's up everybody? You are tuned into TNT with Mike and Jazz, and this video is going to be a how-to step-by-step guide to navigate the Inmate Sales app. If you want to send funds or contact an inmate via Inmate Sales, this is the video for you, so stay tuned. First, we are going to create an account. What you want to do is put your phone number in this field here, and then after you do that, you're going to hit the next button underneath. Once you hit the next button, you're gonna see a verify your phone number. I chose the text notification. So shortly after, after I clicked text notification, I received a code to put in to verify my phone number. You're going to enter the code into this box. There will be different codes every time. You're gonna hit the next button. Next, you're going to have to verify your email address. This is where it gets a little tricky. So you're gonna sit, put your email address in this field here, and you're going to start the email verification process. So you're gonna click the green send email button, and it will say check your email uh, to get your verification. So this is where I started to have a few issues. So I checked my email. I did not have an email yet. I checked my spam folder as well. Make sure you check your spam folder just in case, but it was not in my spam folder on this particular um, try. So I continued to do it over and over again. And finally, there it is, admin verification email popped up. So you're going to wanna click that, give it about five minutes or so, cause it does take a while for this verification to go through. Also make sure you check your spam folder. You're gonna click verify email here. All right, once you click verify email, you're gonna see create an account. This is where you're gonna put in all your personal information, name, address, birthday, everything. This is the field where you're going to do it. You're going to fill in all the boxes that are in red. And then the next portion that we're going to focus on is the birthday portion, because this is where it gets a little confusing. So you want to make sure you check this part out. So you're going to click on the calendar. You're not going to be able to enter your birthday in manually. So this is the tricky part. You can't type it in. It's grayed out. So you got to click on the calendar. And the first time I did this process, the scroll bar did not work. So I manually had to click back every month all the way to 1984 to be able to do this. But this time I utilized the scroll bar on the side and it did work. So you're able to scroll, use that gray scroll bar to scroll up and down to find your year. And it's a lot faster than having to click through month by month. So make sure you look at this uh, screen and you click on that gray scroll bar, scroll up and down, and it'll be a lot easier to get to your birthday and it'll save you a lot of time. After you find your year, you're going to enter your month. You're going to enter your day. And now your date of birth is there and you're going to click the green submit button. All right, next we're getting into the purchasing section. So you will see purchasing here. You're gonna see choose a facility and you're gonna see choose a product. This will be sensitive to whoever you're trying to reach. In this case, we are trying to reach somebody who is in Oldham County in Kentucky. So I type in Oldham County, Kentucky pops up and you do have to manually start to type to be able to get this. Then it says choose a product. For the particular situation that we are working on, if you're trying to contact GMJ, you're going to want to make sure you do pin debit, add money, inmate calls anyone. The third option, make sure it says inmate calls anyone so that he can use that money to call anyone. Then we're going to go into our pin details. So your pin details, you're going to find the inmate. In this case, we are looking up John Johnson. So you're going to type in John Johnson. There are a lot of options. So if you're looking for John Fitzgerald Johnson, make sure you choose the option that says John Johnson, age 58. After that, we're getting into the cost and payment screen. So what you wanna do here is you want to enter in all your credit card information and you might have to re-enter billing or it might automatically populate. Next to his name, you enter a dollar amount and you can enter a dollar amount anywhere from $1 to $100. After you do that and you submit, you should get a receipt that looks something like this with the transaction number. 
And if you have any issues, make sure you call the 1-800-998-5678, which is the inmate sales customer service number. I also um, say that you should call this number after you get your transaction um, and make sure that the person did receive those funds. Thank you so much for tuning in to TNT, and I hope this video helped you.